went and had proper checks, they found this condition nobody had heard of called hemochromatosis. And all that it required to be treated was the strangely medieval thing of being blooded, take, having blood taken from you. And so when we made it into the program, we were contacted by a charity called Hemochromatosis UK, who said, oh, it's so great to see this condition given some attention. And the big winner for me was that, hang on, it's fixable. The couple are now patrons of the charity, which is currently offering free home screening tests to people in Aberdeenshire. With Heidi's family history, they both decided to get tested themselves with surprising results. Heidi ended up being clean, but I am a carrier of hemochromatosis and I've got Irish ancestry. And so now I'm even more keen to say to people, knowledge is power. But if you know, if your family know, because it has a genetic link, then the family are wiser because of that. And you might not actually present symptoms, but you can pass it on to your son, can't you? Which is so important for him to know about. It's so important. I had to tell my family because the complicated genetics are that there's a chance some of them will be completely clean. They didn't receive what I received. There's a chance if my mum and dad were carriers and they were both from Celtic heritage, there's a chance one of the four or five children, maybe, maybe two, could have both sides of it, which means that they are a profound risk of developing this condition. And the charity makes it quite easy to be tested as well. You can order a home kit, you send it away, and a very specialised lab test is done, you will find the answer. The screening has in part been funded by the family of Miranda McHardy, for whom diagnosis came too late. She died of a heart attack in 2023 after decades of heart damage caused by hemochromatosis. This is her cousin Lorna. If you have hemochromatosis, you are supposed to try and keep your iron level to around about 50 or just below 50. Miranda's was not far off 5,000. It had done huge amounts of damage to her. Her liver was really badly damaged with cirrhosis and I think a lot of damage had been done to her heart. If she had known when she was 20, she would be here now. Lorna herself was diagnosed a few years before her cousin. It's possible that as a young woman, her periods were keeping her hemochromatosis controlled, but a few years into the menopause, she too was showing symptoms. I went to the doctors because um, I was feeling achy, painful, tired. I then saw a kind nurse who gave me lots of blood tests. When they came back, my iron levels were really high. Treatment is easy. In order to reduce the level of iron, you have venesection, which entails removing a pint of blood. By doing that, you're removing excess iron and the body then levels out. And I do it three or four times a year and somebody else has the benefit of that. It would be brilliant if people were tested. The amount of money the NHS could save by not having to deal with ongoing miserable <laughs> conditions and heart disease.